somewhere, somewhere along the line, someone with $20 million is like, yeah! <laughs> 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 the in which they make it. They make it when they have actually spent enough not making it. Yeah. That they might as well just make it. Yeah. <laughs> An option, think of it as a rental. Because they're basically renting your book for a while. And, and they can renew the rent over and over. And they can pay a lot of rent or not so much rent depending on what they option it for. And then when they actually make the movie, when it gets green lit, is when they buy it. And so much stuff gets optioned and it never, never makes it into production. Or it can take a really long time. One question I have for everybody here is what was the time frame between option and filming? For Gloria, it was quite, quite a lot. No, no. Oh, it wasn't? No, no. Uh, you have an interesting movie story. Yeah, um, and actually, my, my interesting movie story has to do with a rabid fan. <laughs> so this is the perfect audience for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I, apparently, my agent said speak around, um, uh, this is uh, 15 years ago, and the book came out, and everybody in Hollywood said, yeah, but she doesn't say anything. <laughs> How can we make a movie about that? And valid point. So I was at a book signing in New York City, um, uh, connected with the National Book Awards, and this young woman, what, like 20-ish, just out of college, like foaming at the mouth excited, like, where's security excited? <laughs> I'm gonna be the fucking movie! <laughs> <laughs> Damn if she didn't do it. Because she was actually, um, she loved film. And she, uh, after college, got, you know, kind of the, the well, you get whatever job you can in film if you love it. So she was getting coffee for the junior assistant, assistant, whatever. And she kept on making better coffee than the people above her. So she eventually kind of made her way up enough that she took speak to, I forget the production company, and said, I want to try to do this. And so she, you know, just pulled together enough people that they actually made speak. They uh, Showtime funded it. It was very low budget. Very low budget. Um, but the moral of the story is that uh, sometimes miracles happen. And there's nothing better in the whole world than a rabid foaming at the mouth fan. <laughs> I feel like I want to option the story of the making of speak. <laughs> Because everyone talks, so it's sure to make a killing. My time frame was 2003 to 2008. Mm. Option 2000, which is, everyone kept saying, God, it's so, so fast. Just, you don't understand how fast that was. And I thought, really? I forget what the average is. It's either 9 or 11 years. It's, it's pretty long. Give her what yeah. I think one of them four. I think we were optioned in 2007. <laughs> yes, John, you'll go last on this one. <laughs> 2007 and then 2013. Yeah, I mean, looking for last year didn't wasn't optioned. It was sold, uh, so it's belonged to Paramount um, since 2005, and so that'll be if and when they make it, at least 10 or 11 years. Um, but um, Fault in Our Stars was very fast, <laughs> even even not by Hollywood standards, but by actual standards. You know, but it's it's important. I, I mean, so like Lori. I probably has a different story, and, and Holly May, and I, I don't know about Gail, but like I, the only decision I have ever made in the movies as an author is the decision of whether t to sell the option. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing I have ever done. And people talk, come up to me and they say, the Fallen Our Stars movie is so good, and I'm like, well, I had literally nothing. <laughs> I have exactly as much to do with the Fault in Our Stars movie as I as I did with the Speak movie. <laughs> I just did not, it is not my movie. Like the only decision I made was to sell the option to Wick and Isaac, and that was a really good decision. But that's not an insignificant decision. No, it's a huge decision, and I don't want to brag, but I man. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, and I cried. I don't know. I didn't do anything. It's not all you could have done. It was all you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they would ask me, like, what do you think about this? And I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. What do I know? I don't know how to make a movie. Well, actually, I think, that, I think that's an interesting question, though. Is, did